Hello guys, another Astra video. This one has been kind of requested by one of the people in a group on Facebook. And it is to, like, alter the um, code index for your displays. So if you upgrade from, I don't know, a TID or BID to a GID or you know basically if you upgrade from the basic to the not so basic you may depending on how old the car you have to the car that the new display comes from because if you say you have an old car and your display is new or vice versa it may have a different fuel sensor now there's two kinds one is um, resist linear resistance the other one is linear voltage type b now i'm not 100 percent sure but i think somewhere around 2005 they swapped between the linear voltage to linear resistance so it depends on what car you have to what you need well what i'm going to do is i'm going to demonstrate how to check what index you have with the gid also going to show you how to find that information using the opcom for if you have the old the if you've got a bid or whatever okay so first things first we'll start with the gid or the graphic interface display or information display even All right and to get that information the quick way you use the the hidden menus so you press that settings button for 10 seconds It beeps you then press BC and there you go test mode heater if it'll focus there we go code 009 version 00 that is the index code for this particular vehicle mine has the linear voltage type B because it's a newer version newer car if it if it has come from a um older car that has the linear resistance the code for the gid is 007 i believe i will be putting all these codes up for the different displays probably at the end of the video if not in the description but anyway on we go if you decide you if you're not sure what um fuel sensor you have the way to find that out right, is you go to your opcom go you obviously get into it get into your right car All right to find out what fuel sensor you have get a body and you want ic ipc ecu instrument control unit let it load now let's have a quick look i think it's in programming and program variant configuration you put your car pass in there we go there fuel tank sensor type first page linear voltage type b that tells you what you need what code code index you will need so if you that one as i said for mine it's because I have a GID it's nine uh, um, if I'm not 100 percent sure I know there's two for mine I think one I think maybe seven is the if I didn't want the trip computer or the computer functions which is a bit stupid really but that's it so zero zero seven is actually for the trip computers I was wrong earlier in the video sorry All right so now you found that out to get out of this you go back back again and close this you get back to and again cool. right now to change the code index you go into uh whatever that was info infotainment that's a good word isn't it All right and info display let it load 
and this is how you find out what code index you're currently on because it will tell you at the bottom if you'll focus focus anyway you can see mine says i think you can just about make it out there you go zero zero nine zero zero so yeah that's how you find out if you if you like with your if you put in a bad bid that's how you find out what one it's got and you can look it up and find out if that's the correct one for the fuel sensor, fuel sensor you've got. So to program it though, go to programming and you want to program code index. Now these are the different indexes that are available. Now mine is, I think from what I can gather, these are all the ones for the trip computer versions because it doesn't have seven and seven's the one for mine without the trip computer so you can either have it with the ice warning or without which is always handy and then you basically just select the one you want and note uh, with ice warning as you see it comes over here tells you what you got the index code and ice warning active so basically when it gets to minus uh, minus when it gets to 3.5 degrees i think it is you get a little sign comes up on the on the gid at least that says it's ice be slippery uh, slippery road or something like that anyway this is the same principle for any of the displays really but with the bid you won't get the ice warning thing because you won't it doesn't do it It'll just give you the different options with with board computer, without board computer, I think it just says. But anyway, so once you've done that, you just go into program and all's well and good, and then you should be okay. I hope that explains how to do that for people that are having a bit of issues. And I will see you in a bit. Bye-bye for now.